Hi everyone, Michael Brown again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson we're going to discuss saving your images, quite important, and a couple of things that will number one save your life, number two save you time. Life is more important in this case, not losing your images. And a couple of new features in Photoshop CS6 and we'll discuss saving images for the web. So let's get started. Here's an image. We'll check the image size. Original image is 32 megabytes at 240 pixels per inch. It's a layered file. If we were to, now right at the end of the title bar, you see there's no asterisk. Same thing with this other image. Now this one has been altered, so we made a change and have not saved it. Same thing with this image. The little asterisk indicates it has not been saved after you made a change. So if you go to the file menu you'll see that the save command is highlighted as well as save as. If it is not worked on, such as this one, when you go to file, save is grayed out but save as is live. Okay? So now if we make a change on this image, let's just make a couple of changes here. I'm going to drop the satu uh, wrong saturation, take the saturation, make the yellows down a little bit, make them a little red. There's an, a natural change. Now let's just say what happened there. That's okay. It went crazy. That's fine with me. I'll take it. Um, so we make some wild change here. We flatten the image. We've seriously altered our original image. We go to image size. And let's knock it down to like, oh, 72 pixels per inch. We'll just do that. Now we have a small file with no layers. And if we go to the file menu, save is highlighted. If I release right here, or if I was to use the shortcut Command or Control on the PC S, it will save this image right over the original file because the name's still the same. It will not ask you. It will not prompt you. It will just plain do it. And what that means is that you will wipe out your full-sized file that we have here. I can still go back because of the history panel. It will replace this full-sized file with this tiny little off-color file and you've wiped out your original and you can't recover it. So I recommend highly making a habit out of never using the save command. Instead, use save as. Because when you do, you will get a dialog box that gives you several prompts. What do you want to save it as? Where do you want to save it? And what format do you want to save it in? And it will remind you that, oh, right. I changed this image, so I do not want to save it as the same name. I want to change the name, so I'm just going to hit a slight name change, modified. And now I've changed the name. I'm going to save it into the same folder, save it as a Photoshop file. I'll click Save. And now we have Claudia Mod. If we go back to Open Recent Files and open the PSD file, it should open up. Come on. There it is. We're back and we have both files. Let's go to Bridge and I'll show you that there they reside. There's our original that we did not accidentally save over. There's the small off-color file. We changed the name. This is why I highly recommend that never use save. Um, in 20 years of doing this, I've been working and working and working and working along on an image and inadvertently you go Let's say you make a change. Let's we flatten it, or let's just let's do something here. There's one way you can save it. Let me show you what we do here. We just go and craze it, um, flatten the image, and I instead of saving, I just go to close the window. I go Command W, I close Control W on a PC. 
it will prompt you and it says, do you want to save these changes? So there's a safety valve on closing a window. The other safety valve is use save as all the time. Save will never prompt you. Save as always will. And if you try to close the window after making some change and you go, instead of inadvertent notice, the button's highlighted so your instincts are to click the enter button and you go, oh no, I don't want to save that. I can cancel it and save it as something else or I could go don't and it will go away. Be very careful in saving that you don't save over images. So now we're going to go back to this and we've dealt with the save command which I suggest personally that you never use. That way it will save you from yourself. Instead use the save as command always. That's my recommendation, your call, but my recommendation. So that takes care of the save and the wonderful save as command always saves you.